right, ladies and gentlemen, time now for the welterweights. First to make his way to the glory ring, his motto of make him miss and make him pay served him well in his debut win over Attican Arslan in Dubai. Here comes Chad Sugden. Chad Too Slick Sugden from the United Kingdom holds the distinction of being the youngest fighter ever to hold an ISKA professional world title at the age of 18 and in 2013 was presented with the ISKA Fighter of the Year Award by kickboxing legend Peter Arts. He debuted at Glory 2 Brussels with a stoppage win over Mark DeBond, his opponent did Myrtle Grunhardt, so that's the kind of level of talent that Sugden is facing here tonight. He made an impressive debut in the glory ring as well. He spent a few days at Hemmer's Gym in the Netherlands sparring with Philippe Berlinden and Karapet Karapetian. Yeah. He returns to the welterweight ranks after a lightweight win at Glory 14 Zagreb. Here comes Murtab Grunhard. So here is Murtel Grunard, as I was mentioning. He debuted at Glory 2 Brussels with a stoppage win over Mark Dupont, who would go on to become Glory's first welterweight champion. Stoppage came by way of a knee to the jaw, one of Grunhardt's key weapons. Of course, the man who beat DeBont to become the glory welterweight champion. Joining us here at ringside, Joseph Valtellini. What do you think about Myrtle Grunhardt returning to glory after a year and a half? Um, it, Myrtle's really exciting to have as part of glory. Um, he brings an exciting style with big knees, and you can expect a big knockout here. Um, he's going to use his reach and his distance to set up those big knees today. So Sudkin has to be aware of those knees, and Kind of stay inside or stay outside and stay away from those big knees from Myrtle. And of course, Grunhardt Steven has to deal with Sutton speed. Yeah, see, Burl and Joe, I love the stylistic clash here because you get the stand up Muay Thai guy from Mike's Gym and Bertha Grunhardt against Chad Sutton, and he's gonna be slip, slip, side, side, angle, angle. I can't wait for this fight. So one of the most compelling fights on this edition of the Glory Super Fight Series is coming your way. Myrtle Grunhardt going up against Chad Sugden in welterweight competition. And Grunhardt is seven years the elder and has the edge and experience to match, but Chad Sugden has over 100 amateur fights, so the latter point is moot. The two-inch the Predator does enjoy and reach will come in handy on the outside, because let's be honest, this is Muay Thai versus boxing. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this bout schedule for three three-minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the black corner, an ISKA world champion and their fighter of the year in 2013. His record, 13 wins with four losses, three of those wins by knockout. At six feet even, 1.84 meters, he weighed in at 169 pounds, 76.7 kilos. He fights tonight out of the United Kingdom. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Chad to Slick Sugden. Here now is his opponent standing on my left and fighting out of the white corner, a former WBC and European champion. His professional record, 56 wins with 17 losses and three draws, 32 big knockouts. At six feet, one inch tall, 1.85 meters, he weighed in at an even 170 pounds, 77.1 kilos. He fights tonight out of the Netherlands and is currently ranked number eight in the Glory World Rankings. Introduced Introducing Mertel, the Predator, Grunhard. Your referee for this contest is Mark Smith. Mark Smith, the third man in Step the back, ring, guys. overseeing the proceedings. Chad Tuslick Sugden from a fighting family. His father, former light middleweight champion, 
Dean. His brother's also in combat sports, Myrtle Grunhardt. Looking to move to three and two under the glory banner. Chad, ready? Myrtle, ready? Fight on. The bell and round one. Sucked it in the black gloves. Grunhardt in the white. Myrtle, known as the Predator, and if you're wondering why, comes from the huge dreadlocks he used to have, which made him look like the Predator alien from the action movies. My favorite line from that film, Stephen, is Jesse the Body Ventura's character, Blaine. Ain't got time to bleed. Well, he's a Predator in the ring as well. I think that uh, I like to stare down. No love lost. What do you look forward uh, to early in this contest, Joe? Well, I like the fact that Myrtle is staying outside right now and Sudgin's respecting that knee. So really watch for Sudgin attacking when he's close and exiting right away, trying to avoid that big knee. The big area we got to watch here is that in close range. The big knee from Myrtle and a big overhand punch from Sudgin in that range. Grunhardt with a huge experience edge. He won a K1 World Max tournament. Stopping Yasuhiro Kido, Mike Zambides, before knocking out his then stablemate Artur Koshenko in the final. That placed him among the elite of the elite in the world of kickboxing. But he's had some ups and downs along the way, including a loss in China back in January to Sithachai Sitsong Pinong, who lit glory on fire by winning the lightweight contender Stop. tournament in Fight. France. There's a lot of respect Fight. between these two guys because they're hanging around on the outside waiting for the other guy to do something because they don't want to get hurt. Yeah, Sugden told us that it's going to be all about his speed, accuracy, and uh, footwork. Grunhardt told us that he promises Sugden a world of hurt, real pain. And indeed, the feeling out process continues here in Las Vegas, of course. With three minute rounds, Joe, you don't have a lot of time to get to know your opponent. Yeah, there's a lot of feeling out here right now. Um, I would like to see someone uh, take a little risk right now and try to go in. Oh, there Sudden goes. Nice, to back. nice little spinning back kick there by Sudden. Didn't have a lot on it, but he's going to keep Mirtha Grunhardt guessing. Because a lot of people thought Sudden would just go out there and box. Throws a few kicks, low kicks, spinning back kick, and all of a sudden you, you get confused. Grunhardt representing Mike's gym. Producing monsters like Bader Hari, Gokan Saki, Melvin Manhoek. The list goes on and on. One thing about Mike's gym is that most of the fighters are aggressive and really like, are kind of like bloodthirsty. They ain't got time to bleed. <laughs> 15 Stop. seconds right. left in the opening frame. Not post with the hands. The they getting to know you right. round between Myrtle Grunhart and Chad Tuslick Sugden. Sugden looking to move to 2 and 0 oh in glory. But Grunhart in his fifth glory appearance. Good exchange at the bell. How'd you score the opening round, Steven? I knew you were going to ask. I'm going to ask Joe as well. Don't worry. Oh, boy. I, I'm the only one who has it in my contract that I don't have to score rounds. I will answer it more. I, that was a hard one to score, to be honest. Because not a lot happened, but I have to say that Fleur at the end may have snatched the round for Myrtle Grunhardt. Joe? I have to agree. It's a very difficult round to score. Um, Myrtle was a little bit more aggressive in pushing the pace and kind of keeping Sudgin around the, uh, the end of the rope, so that might give him the little edge in this round. Grunhardt moving forward and going right into a jab, but he still landed the body kick with the left leg. Let's go, seconds out. There's a spinning back kick. It was shielded as Grunhardt stepped to the side, back, avoiding back. it. The bell in round Fight. two. I'd like to ask each of you a question. I'll start with you, Joe Valtellini. Adjustments Grunhardt needs to make in round two. Well, I'd like to see him get a little bit more aggressive, start mixing in his combinations. A lot of maybe mix in mix kicks a little bit more from the outside, and I think where he's waiting to set up that big knee, so expect that to come very soon. And for Chad Sugden, any adjustments you'd like to see, Steven? I, I think the same thing would be true because Sugden needs to get this fight into the pocket. He's got to be careful of the knee, Yep. but I think the overhand right left uppercut Marshall, may be in his toolbox in the near foreseeable future. More aggressive start for Gronhart. Misses with the left hook. Walking down Sugden, Sugden backing up, looking to check that inside low kick by Grunhardt. 
We had Grunhard basically taking the no. round by only three strikes. Punch. And uh, that was the punch, punch department. And he got it out by one kick. So Grunhard definitely got it. And these guys are starting to mix it up now. Yeah, showing their versatility, mixing up the punches, kicks, and the knees. Jab from Grunhard. Sugden unable to navigate the distance, the real estate. Uh, wh what range against Grunard? You want to close the distance fast, right, Joe? Yeah, you can see what Sudgen's trying to do here. He kind of draws you in, draws you in, draws you in, and then attacks with big hands. But like he gets countered get... with the left. There you go. So he, he's trying to draw in Myrtle and then attack with big hands. And I think that's a good strategy because, again, he's respecting Stop. that, that big knee that Myrtle can throw at any time. Fight! One thing that really uh, has surprised me, and I, I'm very impressed, is that Grunhardt is using his jab on the outside, and he should because he's got a reach advantage. He's got the length. The straight punches are his key here from the outside. I'd like to see him mix in some of the kicks from the outside also, Stephen. Yes. Yeah. There's a knee on the inside by Grunhardt. Sutton went 105 as an amateur in kickboxing, 15 and 5 as an amateur boxer. Now right Stop. hand over the top by right. Sugden as Grunhardt clinches. Referee Smith Fight. calls for the break. Final 40 seconds of the second stanza. Spinning kick misses by Sugden. No, Sorry, yeah. Steve. No worries. Uh, sometimes Fight. when you get two guys that are technically this good and they have this kind of a style clash, they kind of shut each other down a little bit. Yeah, it's a game of human chess, but in glory, we like to see that chess played at a high speed. 20 seconds left in the round. And really much like the opening round, the adjustments haven't necessarily been made, Joe. No, I'd like to see these guys throw a lot more combinations. Well, hands to kick. They hear you. Know, mix those kicks in with those hands combinations, especially against the boxer. You would like to use those low kicks and really slow them down. So, after six minutes, of static action, Stephen? Oh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> you bet. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, I, yeah. Yeah. I would have to say, I, 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 I want to say, Bruno Hart, but Jack Sutton landed some good counter shots. In that round. And, you know, the funny thing is, is that we have these stat counts. Why do we even need judges? Why do we even need They can just show the stat and then you know who won the round. Joe, let's make for some compelling television. Disagree with Steven. <laughs> I don't know. That's a really tough one. But uh, you know what? I have to go with Steven here. Sudgen was again landing some bigger punches. Um, I like to see, again, more combinations and more flow from these guys. Uh, it's kickboxing. And uh, let's see some good kicking uh, mixed in with those punches. Such an instigator, Ronaldo. Always. The spoon, baby. Stir it up. Little darling. Stand back. Move back. Move back to your corner. Move back to your corner. The bell in round three. The wick has yet to be lit. Maybe this will be the round. It has to be. Only three minutes left in this fight. It's still anybody's matchup. Sugged in, in the black gloves. Grunhardt in the white. Grunhardt blocked that front high kick by Sugden. Mauro Ranello, Stephen Quadros, and former Glory welterweight champion Joseph Valtellini here ringside at the joint of the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas. Happy to finally bring the best kickboxing organization on the planet to the fight capital of the world. One thing we're seeing a lot more of is Chad Sugden's footwork here. He's trying to get something going by going in and out. Do not turn your back. Do not turn your back. Fight! Slight so, edge yeah. for Sugden. But man, not a lot of strikes thrown through two rounds. And for Grunhardt, he'd been having a hard time making weight. And for this fight, elected to return to welterweight. He intends to stay here. He told us he's chasing a rematch with current glory welterweight champion Nikki Holskin. He still bitterly disputes the decision loss he suffered to Holskin back in 2010. There's a sorry. I just think this is an important fight for both guys. Sudgen really wants to make a name for himself mm -hmm. in the welterweight division. And Myrtle, you know, moving up to the welterweight, he wants to make a name here. Um, he's fought most of the big guys in, in the welterweight division, so it'd be interesting to see who wins this fight and where it goes, uh, where they can both go next. Yeah, yeah. Grunard splitting his four appearances, just walked into the jab from Sugden. Blood now trickling down the side of Sugden's face, a cut over his left eye. 
must have been from a clash Fight. of heads, although I can't confirm Watch that. Fight. Again, you see Sudgen really using that draw style and then throwing those big hands. But again, he's, he's keeping his back against the rope. He's got to get off the ropes and kind of stay in the middle of the ring a little bit more. Under a minute remaining, Runehart began his glory career with a win over Mark Tabont, then suffered back-to-back -back losses to Robin Van Roosmalen and David Kiria before bouncing back at Glory 14 in March of 2014 with a TKO over Teo Mikulik, his last appearance here in Glory. Since then, he's well, gone one and one outside of the organization. Push kick from Grunhardt. I think Grunhardt is definitely going to stay at welterweight because he's stronger at welterweight. One of the things that was, was zapping him was the weight cut. No. Yep. For lightweight. Time. If it were up to me, there would, well, stay there. Be, there wouldn't be Come weight here. cuts in fighting. I know it's about the advantage, Joe, but good? radical and drastic good? weight cuts are not doctor? healthy. No, it's definitely it's doctor? definitely not. And uh, the one thing, most fighters, the hardest part of their training camp is right their diet and cutting down. Headbutt, I can't tell if the blood is from that or not. Accidental headbutt. Okay. All right, are you okay to continue? Okay, good to continue. Interesting. Right, come here, guys. Checking the cut on top of uh, Grunard's head. Right. Meanwhile, Watch there's blood hands, okay? trickling Watch down the, uh, the face Tom of Sugden. Fight! Not, not a lot of time left to capitalize on anything. Straight right hand by Grunard. Sugden trying to amp up the energy, spinning hook kick. Fight! Getting fancy. Ten that's seconds. The, that's the first time we've seen the knee from Murdo. I'm surprised he hasn't thrown it more often. He's, Landed a few, but not as often as we are accustomed to see. So a rather surprising fight between Chad Sugden and Myrtle Grunhardt. Both of them raising their hands in victory. Our unofficial scorecards, Reed. Let's start with you, Joe. Who won that fight and why? You know what? This is again just as hard as the other two rounds. Uh, very hard, very hard to pick. But uh, I have, a, I have it a split decision. Maybe going to Myrtle just on the little bit of edge of keeping Sudgen on the outside into the ring. A little bit more aggression that'll steal him the win, uh, the round. More, he's gonna hate this. I agree with him. And uh, here's why. See that right hand? Myrtle Grunhardt laid the pressure, and it was a really, really good shot. And. You know, they, they crash heads right there after that right hand. Where's Donald Trump when you need him? I'll disagree. There's, There's a clash there, of heads. There's a clash of heads. Both guys bloody. Completely unintentional. So they go the distance in this uh, welterweight fight. Myrtle Gronart telling us that he is planning on staying at 170 pounds and more experience for Chad Too Slick Sugden. Just 21 years of age and just his second fight in glory. Came in with a record of 13 and four with three wins inside the distance. And each and every fight, Joe, should be a learning experience. That's it, and that's the big thing about being a fighter. You have to take wins and losses and, and, and adapt and keep evolving in the sport. And that's what makes uh, the sport a beautiful thing. There's always something to learn. There's always something to improve on. Well, we thank you very much, Joe, for joining us here at ringside and wish you the, the very best in your future. It's uh, it, it, it's tough to, to see you having to vacate the title, but uh, good to see a fellow Italian Canadian on the broadcast, buddy. Thank you, Mario. It's been a blast. Come on out, guys. Mark. Mark. Well, the numbers tell some of the story, not always all of the story, but looking at the final stats, a slight edge in favor of the veteran Myrtle Grunhardt. Outlanding Chad Sugden 33 to 29. We've seen a uh, spate of split decisions. Wouldn't be surprised if we see another one as we look at the uh, the replay of the action. And I do use the, the term uh, loosely in this one. It was a it was a, a, a tough fight to score. A tough fight for Sugden and Grunhardt. There's an overhand right by Grunhardt. As Joe Baldellini said, Sugden busy trying to draw in the veteran before going on the attack, then no. landing a knee in the accidental no. clash of heads, which came about late in the fight. And then Grunhardt on the attack again, the aggressor. So the scores have been tabulated and we await the official decision. Let's go back to the center of the ring. And here once again is Mr. Tim Hughes. 
Ladies and gentlemen, once again, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecard, and they send us a split decision. Judge John Baker scores about 29-28, Grunhart. Judge Patricia Morse-Jarman scores about 29-28, Sugden. And Judge Robert Hoyle scores about 29-28 for your winner by split decision, Chad Sugden! Chad Sugden curried the judges' favor, well, two of them anyway. He wins the split decision over Myrtle Grunhardt. He improves to 2-0 and oh in glory, our third straight split decision here on the Super Fight Series. Let's go to Steven. Thanks, Morrow. Chad, that was a frustrating fight for maybe both of you guys for different reasons. Explain what happened in the fight. Um, I thought, personally, I started off slow, but in the second round and third round, he, he was struggling still with movement, and I was hitting him more. And, it's about landing punches. End of the day, you can swing all you want, but if you're not connecting clean, it's not going to score. So, uh, me personally, I thought it was a close fight, and it could have gone either way. And under glory rules, I thought he was aggressive, but I'm too slick. That's what I do. So, look, I, I believe my hands were better than his. Um, he has long legs, and he's very awkward. I have full respect for him as a fighter after what he's done, won the K1 Max and stuff like that. But. I've got a different style to everyone. Thank you so much. You've got to be proud of that performance. Let's hear it one more time for him, ladies and gentlemen. Chad Subden.